Okay, this is the Scott Titra Line KF titrator. I just want to point out we were just looking at the uh, packing list. Uh, we purchased a new Durkin glass vessel <coughs> back in uh, August of 15. That order was canceled. And then this just recently we purchased the electrode, uh, waste bottle, solvent bottle, and some of the tubing. So what I want to do first is we're going to add you that uh, we can add some solvent right now I just have DI water in the system you can see we're adding solvent and we can also reduce some of it into the waste bottle you can see that, that is operational I'll reduce it down a little bit okay, and we have the stir right now you can see that it will stir And uh, what I have uh, programmed in here is the uh, most programming in the machine. I, I, we're just going to run a tighter liquid sample. Uh, let's look at the other modes available. You know, sample, titration, tighter water. We'll do the water method. Again, we don't have the proper uh, titer here. It's just a uh, DI. I just want to show that it will flow through the system and that will get a reading on the uh, electrode. So we'll go ahead and run that by hitting enter using the keypad here. Where is it? There it is. Or you can use the uh, buttons on the uh, front of the uh, tighter line KF. Yeah. So this is the tighter water example. Uh, we'll go ahead and hit hit start. Let's use this button here. <clears throat> As you can see, um, it's measuring the amount of liquid going through the uh, Durand glass vessel. And you can see that the uh, probe is reading some kind of current. So at this point, we'll just go ahead and hit cancel by hitting the escape. Shut this off and we'll uh, drain out the uh, titration vessel. So again, without the proper uh, solvent and titer, you really can't do a uh, actual titration, but at least here we're showing you that all the equipment part is operational. 